Ali Drew for Hennessy Sports, joined by Peter Fiore. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Thank you. So you've come to the show tonight. What have you thought so far? I thought it's a brilliant uh, show. You know, there's a very good card on. You know, the river, the river one, uh, the two unbeaten ones, fantastic. You know, what a finisher he is. You know, he's a uh, what do they call this? A hidden gem. You know, this uh, young fella. You know, articulate, very nice young man. You know, excellent to see and a good finisher as well. Who were you expecting to you know have good performance? Who were you excited about before you came tonight? Obviously, we've got looking, two fights uh, to go. I'm looking forward to seeing Sam Eggington fight because I see him as improving all the time. So I, I really, uh, I like that. I like that fight. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, this River and the other lad, because I know both lads. So obviously, uh, I'm looking forward to that. So, but I've been impressed so far. I've been really enjoying it back there. And obviously, the fans are back, or some fans are back. So that just makes all the difference. Oh, the big difference, you know. And, uh, really lifting the roof off the building aren't they? They're Brilliant. cheering everybody on so like I say it's fantastic. And what's your prediction for the main fight? You know Eggington, M Melina, who do you think is going to get that one? Well you know we've had some uh, every time the Mexicans come over recently it's not been good has it? But I think um, I, th I think Sam's going to come through this uh, fight. I think he's getting better, he's tough and uh, he's a spiteful puncher as well Sam so I see uh, I see him wearing him down, um, but I don't know much about Molina, but I think uh, this will be Sam's night. I just got a feeling. And just your fighters in your stable, you know, how are they getting on in training, Huey? No fights on the horizon yet? Yes, we're just waiting for uh, an opponent and uh, a date. Uh, we've been promised June for Huey, so let's uh, just wait and see. And then we've got Savannah, you know, she's uh, looking to be hopefully fighting for the IBF title in uh, July. She's had a great year, great, great win in the world title. She's had a great time. You know, so uh, I, I think of the big things there, Savannah. I think uh, she's a very unique fighter, and I think she will unify the division. And um, providing there's no politics involved, we should get the Clarissa Shields fight for November because you know we're ready for that fight. That's what everyone wants to see. That fight. It is. Because sure. Savannah's the only person to have ever beat her in the, in the amateurs, she defeated her. In the amateurs, that's correct, yeah. yes. And, um, but Savannah's come on, she holds so much power. You know, for a woman, she's a big, big puncher. Mm. So it's fantastic, really. Exciting for the women's division. Yeah, it'll be great if it happens. Well, thank you for talking to me. Enjoy the rest of the night. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. All the best. Thank Bye -bye. you.